What's up, what's happening? Welcome back to GC Development. Hola, que lo que, que lo que hay, como esta, como esta, todo. Todo bien aquí en Washington, D.C. En Estados Unidos, sí. Yeah, man. We get it. Where you at? So, you know, in my last video, I wanted to make a part two. So why it's so important for you to start just speaking to natives. But before I get started, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Because ultimately, it helps the channel grow. Amen. And when you out there watching, commenting, and sharing, I appreciate you. Blessings. But I'm going to get right into it, man. Why is it so important? You know, one thing that I was told, right? And I, I, I'm going to be honest. I think it's crazy. I get it, but I think it's crazy. Is you need to learn the proper way of speaking, right? You know, some people act like people speaking in different accents in Spanish is like, you know, lower class beneath them, right? And I guess because being in the United States, like it's totally different, you know, for us. Um, you know, I'm from the South and, you know, we talk different, right? We cut cut words and, and drag out all of that. Like we have slang for days, right? But it doesn't necessarily mean you lower class, so to speak. It's just the region that you're from and just understanding that Southern draw. So a lot of times, learning Spanish, you know, say if you're learning the Puerto Rican accent or the Dominican accent, it's like, ah, that's horrible. Why would you do that? Um, well, that's who I'm around, one, right? And then two, you know, why does it make it bad? I want to be able to understand them. Like, oh, I, I don't know if y'all dealt with this, but it's like someone, I'm, I'm talking to someone and I'm mimicking their voice, right? They're talking to me, Dominican guy. You know, when he said, después, but he's saying después. So I'm like, después. Like, nah, I don't say that. You, you shouldn't talk like that. What well, you saying? You know, a buscal. So I say buscal, right? Buscar. I'm saying the same thing. I'm mimicking what he's saying, right? Um, and so he's like, nah, you want to say it properly. And I'm like, why? Because I, this is how I'm hearing you guys say it. So it just naturally makes it easier for me to mimic the accents that I hear, right? Especially that I'm around. Why would I say it, quote unquote, properly? When, you know, I, I look at my language, like I say it how I grew up saying it. You know what I'm saying? That's just the accent. So it's extremely important from an understanding standpoint. And then also developing the accent that you want to portray, right? You have to talk to, to, to you know, natives. They're going to help you with that to sound more authentic, you know, in your Spanish. I mean, you know, if you want to be neutral, I mean, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But typically, we want to sound like the people that we're around. You know what I mean? Just like in the States. If you're from the West Coast, you sound like people in the West Coast. You're from the South, you sound like people from the South. You're from the East Coast, you sound like people from the East Coast, right? If I'm speaking in Spanish and I'm learning and all the people I'm around are Puerto Rican, I'm going to want to sound Puerto Rican. I'm going to naturally sound Puerto Rican because those are the people that I'm talking to and that's what's grooming my accent. But how do you get better with that by talking to native speakers? It's easy, easy to talk to tutors because at some point your, your vocabulary is going to be you know, you're going to get to the immediate level. This is what I like to tell people. Once you, when you get to reach the immediate level, in my eyes, that's where you can either get stuck or go on and progress to advance and fluency. I say that to say, you know, I've been stuck in that immediate level, right? Where I can pretty much hold a regular conversation. No issues. I'm going to understand you. No problems, right? It's when it gets above that, when it starts to get a little bit tougher, right? You know, so you have to break out of that, you know, where you can hold a conversation no matter what it is. So if I'm at a doctor's office, I should be able to hold a conversation. You know, if I'm at work, I should be able to hold a conversation about work. I'm not talking about everyday things. Sometimes I feel like people get fluency on based on, I hold a conversation about everyday things. 
or you can get on here with your tutor and talk for an hour straight, right? But then you go to the streets and you are struggling. It's not fluency. It's it's levels. It's 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 definitely levels. But to me, the number one key to getting to where you want to get to, you want to speak to native speakers. So right, I personally use baseline. I'm at that stage where if you speak English, I don't want you at my, I don't want to talk to you. Like I'm not, I'm not going to have a session with you unless I just need a session and that's all that's left. I typically talk to people that don't speak English because typically people that don't speak another language, I know this sounds bad, but their accent is typically a lot thicker. They speak faster and they're not, they don't have that I'm learning another language lens on. So they talk, you know, extremely proper, typically. So that helped me as well too. Hey Amen. It's extremely important. You got to. If you're trying to get to that next level, you got to. Um, it's 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 just to you know. If you don't, it's to your detriment, and you may get stuck in that intermediate level, and then trying to figure out how to break through it. You got to talk. It's the only way. And you know what? You got to get uncomfortable again, just like you was in the beginning, because what happens in the intermediate level, intermediate level, you get comfortable. So you talk about the same things that are easy for you instead of breaking out of that and talking about difficult conversations. Hey Amen. I'm just a messenger. I told y'all, I'm helping y'all in real time. These are definitely some of the things that I was going through and things that I'm breaking out of, you know what I'm saying, in this year, because I literally have been into intermediate space for a while and I'm finally starting to break that. Hey, how let you boy, man. But don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Until next time, man. Peace. You know what it is. Get to the money, baby.